Hey guys, this is Halo Productions, serving Northwestern uh, Iowa, Northeastern Nebraska, Southeastern South Dakota, and surrounding areas. Today we're going to take a look at this game console at this modern SNES Classic Edition that we bought. Yeah, that we bought on eBay. See, I'm I'm not going to do all 400 games that are on it. I'm only going to show. I'm only going to show certain ones. I need to turn on the TV volume. The TV's louder than me. That should be good. We're skipping to letter A, because we have to. See, first one's Bad Dudes. Data East presents. Yeah, I need to turn on the brightness, which I'm going to do in a little bit. No, maybe not. One player or two player? Maybe let's do, yeah, one player. I have to do, I have to do one player. What the heck? Let's do Blade. First game, and here we go. President has been kidnapped by ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue the president? Is that as easy as voice hours? <laughs> jump and kick in opposite areas. <laughs> wow, this is great. This is quality fighting. What you expect? What you expect? This is the early age of fighting games. So you had either this or nothing. Oh, did I just give myself more time? Or what? What? Gosh, <laughs> this game reeks of cheese. Like the ninjas, they're just skipping frames. Animation just skipping frames. Of course, they know jump down without hurting their feet. First game, and here we go. He can literally run fa way faster than me. Oh my god, what is this? That's like Dr. Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog without a shirt. That game is trash. Balloon fight. Second game and here we go. Why are bubbles? This is extremely random. No, no, it's it's not really random. What is this music? Oh, now it got rid of the bad music and replaced it with good music. Sounds pretty nice. What is this music? What is this quote unquote music? Are those supposed to be birds chirping? Of course the S of course the NES was limited, but seriously, is this supposed to be music or birds chirping? Oh now I can't really float as well. Hope it falls to water. Heck, it just launched thunder. That could have almost hit me. This game is just getting taken a bit too far, you know. The heck? Now there's now there's electricity going around the map. What am I playing? I'm actually making this at seven o'clock in the evening. Just so you know. Those noises. Ah! Music is completely broken. It's like someone tried to compose real music on a synthesizer. 
But then, then all of a sudden, they accidentally stepped on Lego while they were doing it because it, because there are kids all around him playing Lego, all around him playing playing with Legos, and and then he and then he ended up um getting hurt, so hurt that he couldn't even play real music again. That's seriously the reason why I failed most, because someone jumps on my balloon and then I have trouble floating. And then I just all of a sudden lose. Get out of your music, what are you even good for? Get out of your quote unquote music. I think this game doesn't even save your high score. Just like most of these art games. What is this? Oh, I have to pop balloons. As many as I can. Until they all float away. Pop as many balloons with a person on balloons. Who looks a, kinda like a bird with a with a bike helmet with a motorcycle helmet. No, let me get let me get these balloons. Oh, I got 18. Gain a good score. Now places like money or something. Or is that never rack for Minecraft? Before Minecraft was even made. This was made in like 1985. I think it was like one of the original NES launch towers, right? Many of the original NES launch towers are like this. Or basically a multi-level platform. Or basically a multi-level pla arcade platformers. Bubble Bobble. The heck? Taito. The same company that made Space Invaders and Infamous Kicks game. I think it was made in like 1986, but it wasn't released on NES until 1988. Licensed by Nintendo of America. There's like a pretty small chance of a game, of an NES game being unlicensed. One player start. Now it's the beginning of a fantastic story. Um, let us make a giant to cave monsters. Oh, I create bubbles, and I have to trap toasters and bubbles, and I have to trap these toasters and bubbles. Nice. Nice. Does this game have an ending? Oh, now I'm on level two. And apparently they float. I think I actually kind of recognize this music, right? Oh my gosh. I know Tyro made some weird games in the 80s, but seriously. Pick up the... Oh, I was going to pick up the art pumpkin. But the game just didn't let me. Whole bunch of toasters. So I have to defeat toasters. Or at the same time, um, avoiding death by to by toasters. Babby, password. Babby, password. Try and go down to the password. Um. Sprung back to beginning. A boy and his blob. What am I supposed to do? Cola. What am I supposed to do? I 
think I, I threw, I think I threw a jelly bean by accident. Okay, now we're in a city. Is that the Twin Towers? Yeah, that's definitely the, no, it's not the Twin Towers, because usually one of the buildings would be larger. Health foods. Cola equals bubble. Heck, even is this game? Cinnamon. What cinnamon turn? Blowtorch. Oh, I accidentally threw an archer. Vanilla, what's your vanilla does? Umbrella. What am I supposed to do here? My blob turned into an umbrella. Tangerine. Nice game. Adventure Island. <laughs> Hudson's Adventure Island. So, so this was made by Hudson. What do I do here? Is this... I think the snails are enemies, right? Throw this crap. Yeah, nice. Oh dear, oh dear. Besides, your heads are adjusting, are adjusting to your music. Good thing controls are normal and all. Oh, racket scrolling. Of course, that's racket scrolling. by bird. Yep, this is this is Hayden's final stand. I actually kinda like the music though. Graphics are nice enough. No. I can throw this crap at them. over sound being defeated by enemies adventures in a magic kingdom which is basically disney world uh, maybe i'll name myself hey i'll use my youtube name why if i even can Hayden, okay, there's no plus, so I just go and say Hayden minus. Yeah, Hayden minus. What is this? What's this? I don't know. <gasps> oh, so it's just. So it's just a heavily pixelated version of Magic Kingdom. I've actually been to Disney World before. I've actually been to Disney World before, and this actually and this is an okay replica of the place. So I'm just a guy in a cowboy hat. Who I, I think I has no face. What even are these? the racetrack. I've been to the Daytona Speedway in, the, in Magic Kingdom. And I think it was in, I think it was in Future, oh wait a minute, what's it called? It has something to do with the future. No, 
Well, no, it's actually called Tomorrowland. Yeah, it was in Tomorrowland. I think it was called the Tomorrowland Speedway. Oh my gosh. This makes no sense. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Okay. LJN? But I hate LJN. Once upon a time, somewhere along the temporal coming. Is this Bill and Ted? Grace Baxter friend. Yeah, your time traveling skills are needed once again. Maybe I'll call this guy 1377. Oh yeah, each number begins with 555. Prepare to enter the circuit to time. Oh, apparently they have um a phone. Apparently they have a telephone box that can time travel. So is this Bill and Ted or freaking Doctor Who? This makes no sense. This is a freaking nightmare to to play. Freaking nightmare. What am I supposed to be doing? Every time I go into one of the numbers, I hear telephone beeps. Is that the same number I entered? 555-1377? Five, 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 seven, seven? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> is this what, is this, is this what it's going to feel like? Um, um, is this what the earth, is this what the world's going to feel like? Hundreds of years from now. The heck. Makes no sense. The heck. Makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. What am I doing? What is this game even supposed to be about? Baseball, SNK baseball stars. 1989, be a champ. I probably would be able to be a champ. The heck are any? I don't even know what these teams are. I was choose to wear S. Crushers dreams. No clue any of these are. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the menu. No clue I'm supposed to do here. Okay, going to Japanese territory to go to the Famicom. This is was race two years before the NES. We're going to do let's see how many there are. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So we're going to do like five per episode. No, uh, actually no two. Arkanoid two, Revenge of Doe. <laughs> It's weird there's no Arkanoid 1 on the system. All oh, it actually is a game that exists. Taito makes the weirdest games ever. This is nowhere close to easy. This is the first level of the game, and you're going hard on me already. Gotta be one of the shortest games of Arkanoid out there. I have one of the shortest games of Arkanoid in existence. See if I can even get to a real game. What's what's the point of this beginning level anyway? 
this is just nothing. They just want to add, do nothing but add on to a story. Whatever the heck they're trying to go for. Oh, the, the got dough is becoming less and less green. Weirdo dough doesn't even have eyes. Maybe because he's made of blueprint. Crisis Force by Konami. Stage one. Is this just, I think this is just your typical space shooter. That's what I'm thinking. This, this game. This game is way too intense, it's going way too intense for the first two level. What do transformations even do? Graphics are kind of advanced, because it even has rotations. Although the frame rate is kind of bad. This kind of reminds me of 1943. Oh, sorry, I'd be back. Sorry, I was just practicing some vocab words off camera because my mom wanted me to. I've not heard my mom yell my name, but she did. It's the end. Okay, now going SNES territory, we have we have the Super Famicom upgrade for its predecessor, made 1989. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I'm going to do four of these per episode. Because there's going to be five episodes. What's Clock Tower? Human. Human Entertainment. What is it supposed to be? God, this is very creepy. It's going by so slowly. Is, it, is the bell score? Is the bell just going to make dongs? Um, like dong sound? Ten times? So all the letters can come in? Interview? Star. What is this supposed to be? Raising a grand orphanage, not for her friends. We're one is adopted daughters. What is this? Has nothing to do with clock towers. Happened in September. Um. What am I looking at? Looks kind of real. If you look at the camera, it looks real, but from my point of view, it doesn't. Oh my god. What are we doing here? Okay, now it's 8 14. It means I've spent an hour so far. Playing, playing weird games. This is going to end. This is going to end. Not that long. Um. Okay. Um. This is weird. This is playing weird. Yeah, what a huge place. Yeah, what a huge freaking place. The main hall is gigantic. 
gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Is it is this a game or a or a movie? Why would this is only released in Japan because this finally we get a play after like what seems like forever. What are we supposed to do? Oh, it's just weird Japanese games. Um, what's the name again? It's pretty long. This the name of this game is actually quite long. Do re me fantasy. Island Quest, 1996. Was this like one of the last games on our system? Must have been. Yeah, I skipped the story because I don't want to waste time. I'm, I'm just going to skip the story. What is this? What's this? Do I just... Is this Sesame Street Sports? <laughs> but with enemies? Of course it has to be enemies. Always has to be enemies. Oh. Oh. Why is also wrong button B is jump? Who have thrown a bowling pin at him? What the heck? This is not Sesame Street Sports, right? I think this is Sesame Street Sports on a Game Boy Color. Which was a extremely stupid game. Goal. Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. Of course, there's games based off of anime in Japan that weren't released in the United States. Um, what am I looking at? Okay, I don't understand anime, but what the heck. Oh, now it's turning from black and white to color. Turn to a dragon. What's this? The song is just bells and and dingy noises. We sound like extremely weird percussion. Oh, that's just that's this. Oh, that looks like the main character. What kind of music is this? Those are the stings and dongs. Stings and dongs. Nah, I'm skipping the story. I don't want to be a time waster. What is this? Again, I think this is one of the last games to waste on. No, I always keep skipping. No offense, Japan. It looks free when I look at it on the camera, but not from my point of view. Oh, it has bad words. I need to get Final Fantasy V. Square. <laughs> Square. 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 God, 1992. It's just completely blue. But when we get under camera, it's not, it looks more, it looks more like lavender than blue. What is this even supposed to be? I don't understand these kind of games, okay? 
These kind of games have storylines. What is this? I can't even skip this. Of course, it continues a tra Of course, it continues this thing of Japanese games having dragons. It's your typical Japanese SNES game, okay? Um, yeah, drag. The reason why I call it typical is because just like most of these are games, with their their exclusive Japan, it has freaking dragons. Those are basically every Famicom game. Last games for now. Um, like your mice from Mars. Brentwood Television Funnies. Konami. There's a Konami Bacon Strips logo. Yeah, Konami made good games. What is this? Looks like some cheapo game. This looks like some cheapo game for Konami. Like, oh, I could have. I should have chosen. I should have chosen hard because I'm not going to understand this game anyway. I'm not going to understand this game anyway. It's just showing. Is that a, the Nickelodeon logo font? Yeah, the one we used from 1984 to 2009. Yeah, it definitely is. What is this? Oh my god, I hate isometrical viewpoints. I hate isometrical viewpoints. What is this? Not very really good, this. I know mice could be good at using uh, Ryan on bikes. Susan, I hate isometrical games. Why are clouds? Four laps to go. Yeah, it's pretty obvious I'm going to lose. Bust a move. Oh, this was also made by Tayado. Bob. Oh, that's a nice hand drawn animation. Bob and Bust a move. Is this Bubble Bobble or Bust a move? Yep. From the beginning. Sure. Oh, it's oh, it's just a puzzle game. There are many games like this on mobile devices. That was way too easy. I like the I know like they're playing nice and tame music. I think it's just to make hardcore gamers feel better about themselves. I think hardcore gamers were even a fan at the time that this was made. Look, that's what he's doing. I think like I think like Bob is just rotating the wheel and Oh no! Oh, there's a time limit? And Bob just spits out bubbles to use them. He literally spits out bubbles and throws them out into the game. This video series is actually going to have one part. Oh no. Good. Nice way to get out of this danger that I'm in. The heck? They just started. They just died? Did they just die after I filled up the whole entire board by accident? 
Aerial the Acrobat, Sun Corporation. Oh, what the heck is that? I thought this was Sun Sun Corporation, not Sun Soft. It's plain weird. What the heck is this? This I think I think this game is going to be very very weird. I thought this was Sun Corporation, not Sun. I thought this was Sun Corporation, not Sun Soft. A Guan Entertainment, which is actually owned by Acclaim, and Acclaim made good games, but start. Circus Act 1. Isn't that a Sonic term? Isn't that Sonic the Hedgehog term? What is this supposed to be? I think this was just some cheapest crap attempt to capitalize. I think this was just some cheapest crap attempts to capitalize on success of Sonic. Yeah, we need Yeah, we need a cool fast person going through cool levels. Nah, I don't this game is pretty lame. That's for sure. All the way up. Just, ah! Got burned. Uh, Midway Arcade's Greatest Tips, the Atari Collection 1. Made in 1997. Again, I think this is one of the one of the last games released on system. Hey, I want to change some options. No, I'm not going to do that. Player 1. This game is nostalgic. Remember what that one point this game is so popular that many arcades had to install larger coin boxes to keep up the game's demand. Yep, this is yep, this is Yep, this is yep, these are arcade games with vector graphics. But this one day is made up the the vector graphics pixelated. So they can still run SNES, but at the same time still kinda look like the original arcade game. I see what they're actually I actually kinda see what they're going for with this. They're just trying to bring some nostalgia. Trying to bring back some Atari nostalgia from the 80s. You know, I wanna play another game. I'm gonna play a different game. But if I wanna do I think I have to like reset the system, I think. This game is basically just destroying asteroids. Hmm. Bow zone. No, I want the controls to be native, because arcade controls are ridiculous. Okay. Try and play this. Oh, I just have to shoot tanks. Oh, I just sniped that thing. I don't know why I use the term sniped. I don't really like those kind of terms. Let's see if I can snipe this one. And indeed I did. I think this is another one of their games with vector graphics. Oh no, I don't want to shoot at me. And just broke into like 50 pieces. Oh no, don't, don't you dare shoot at me. I thought it was going to shoot at me. Did not miss. Enemy to the right. Yeah, I died at the same time he died. Well, at the same time, he died. What's the point of radar at the top? What is it even for? What's its purpose? Of course, I died again. Enemy to the left. Nice jingle. I'm just going to say A. B. C. See, that should be good. Now it's up to the high scores for everyone to see. Centipede. Change the options. 
yeah. I should be all set. I should definitely be all set. Why is the B button fire? Why, why does not even let me use the A button? That's just plain ridiculous. No. These guys are freaking regencies. Of course, the spider killed me. That bouncing spider it makes weird noises, and sometimes he gets rid of your mushrooms so you can shoot better. They're very, very easy to shoot. Oh no, colors can change because I regress to the next level. Oh, you can get an odd number of points. Call me crazy, but that's not really usual in most of these arcade but most of these arcade games. Nice. Those sound like bass drum beats. What the crap? Okay, I know the picture looks white on camera, but to me, it's but it's actually like white. It's actually very, very light green. Ah, the camera about fell over. Yeah, I was getting distracted. Ah, uh -huh. missile command. Yeah, I think the original arcade game used a track ball and not a directional pad or a joystick. Hey, let me shoot you guys. I just want to freaking smack you. The guys who are sending missiles, I just want to freaking smack them. Not kidding. Defend cities. Don't worry, I'll try. And I'll also try and destroy this airplane so it doesn't poop out more missiles. Because I have to deal with more stuff. 